Right in the middle of the beautiful waters of the Hawaiian Islands, three friends enjoyed their fishing adventure. However, things got real bloody quick when Julie Peters decided to retrieve her friend's camera from the shark-infested water. The waters surrounding the Hawaiian Islands are known for their exceptional quality and beauty. The color of the water is a stunning shade of blue, ranging from a deep sapphire blue to a lighter turquoise color in shallower waters. Hawaiian waters are renowned for their clarity, with visibility often reaching over 100 feet. The clear water allows for a stunning underwater view, making it a prime location for activities like snorkeling and diving. The temperature of Hawaiian waters is generally warm and comfortable. The warm waters make swimming and water activities more enjoyable, even during the winter months. In addition, the waters are rich in marine life and offer ample opportunities for fishing. People in Hawaii practice various forms of fishing, including traditional methods such as hand lining and throwing nets, as well as modern techniques like trolling and spearfishing. However, the presence of sharks in Hawaiian waters can pose a significant danger to swimmers and fishermen alike. Despite the potential dangers, fishing in the waters surrounding the Hawaiian Islands remains a popular activity, attracting both locals and tourists who are drawn to the area's natural beauty and abundant marine life. Julie Peters is a student who loves fishing. It has been her passion for as long as she can remember. Whether she's out on the water alone or with a group of friends, there's just something about being out in the ocean that she can't get enough of. Julie has been fortunate enough to fish in some of the most popular locations around, from the crystal clear waters of the Caribbean to the rugged coastlines of Alaska. She's reeled in all kinds of different species. But it's not just about the thrill of the catch for Julie. It's also about the peacefulness that comes with being out on the water. Her favorite type of fishing is solo fishing, where it's just her and the ocean. It's a time for her to reflect and unwind from the stresses of everyday life. But she also loves fishing with her friends, sharing stories and laughs while waiting for the next bite. For Julie, fishing is not just a hobby. It's a way of life. It's a way for her to connect with nature and experience the beauty of the world around her. The Hawaiian Islands are a magical place for fishing, and Julie has always longed to come back there after her solo fishing experience. In the summer of 2008, she came along with two of her closest friends, Susan and May, and they set out early in the morning to make the most of the perfect weather conditions. The day before had seen a drizzle, leaving the air with a chilly but refreshing ambiance. But this day, the sun was out, providing mild warmth to the already picturesque scenery. As they set sail from the marina, they couldn't help but be amazed by the stunning view of the ocean. The deep blue sea sparkled under the sun, inviting them to come closer and take in its beauty. The cool breeze whipped through their hair and clothes, giving them a sense of freedom and adventure. Their fishing gear was in top-notch condition, and they were all set to reel in some big catches. Julie had brought along her lucky fishing rod, which she had used on many successful trips. Her friends had also brought their best gear, hoping to catch some of the legendary fish that roamed the waters around the islands. As they cruised along the coast, they saw schools of colorful fish darting around them, reminding them of the endless possibilities that awaited them. They stopped at various spots along the way, trying their luck in different locations. They caught different types of fish. As the day wore on, they headed to a secluded spot that was known for its abundance of fish. They dropped their lines in the water and waited patiently for a bite. Suddenly, May's reel started to spin, signaling she had caught something big. She fought with the fish, her heart racing with excitement. All the while, Susan had been taking pictures and filming their adventure. This was Julie's custom on each of her fishing adventures. Unfortunately, Susan tripped and the camera fell into the water. Not wanting to lose her precious memories to the cold depths of the ocean, Julie dove right into the water to retrieve the camera. Her friends wanted to stop her because they knew that the ocean could be unpredictable and dangerous, but she didn't listen. They never expected what was about to happen. As Julie searched for the camera in the waters, she suddenly heard a low hum coming from behind her. She turned around and saw a large shadow moving towards her. 
growing bigger and bigger as it approached. Her heart racing, she realized with horror that it was a great white shark. For a moment, fear gripped her, and she froze in place, but then she remembered what she had learned about sharks and how to defend herself. She slowly backed away from the shark, maintaining eye contact and keeping her movements slow and steady. Her friends on the boat were screaming and shouting, trying to get Julie's attention. They could see the shark getting closer and closer, and they knew they had to act fast to save her. As Julie made her way back toward the boat, the shark suddenly surged forward, biting down on her leg. Julie screamed in pain, but she didn't let go of the camera she had picked up. She managed to pull herself free from the shark's grip and continued to swim toward the boat. The shark surged forward, having tasted her blood, and this time it attacked Julie violently. Her friends on the boat were overcome with fear and horror. They watched helplessly as the shark's razor-sharp teeth sank into Julie's flesh, causing blood to spurt out into the water. They screamed and cried out to her, hoping that their cries would scare off the shark, but it continued to attack. Julie fought back, punching and kicking at the shark with all her strength, trying to break free from its grip. As the struggle continued, it seemed that all hope was lost. Her friends were traumatized, unable to process the horror that was unfolding before their eyes. They felt helpless and powerless, unable to do anything to save their friend from the jaws of the deadly predator. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity, the shark relented and swam away, leaving Julie floating in the water, her lower body battered and torn. Her friends immediately sprang into action, pulling her onto the boat, but they could see that she was bleeding badly. They applied first aid, using a towel to stem the bleeding, and then proceeded to call for help on their radio. But unfortunately, their radio wasn't responding. The state that their friend was in made their hearts break into a million pieces, but they tried to keep her calm and reassure her that she would be okay. She started losing consciousness as she lost a lot of blood. They could see that she was in a lot of pain, but she remained strong and determined to make it through. She had sustained multiple bites and needed surgery to repair the damage. The rest of the day was a blur of fear and anxiety as they raced back to shore, desperate to get Julie the medical help she needed. They were all traumatized by the experience, unable to shake the images of the vicious attack from their minds. When they finally reached the hospital, Julie was rushed into surgery and given a tetanus shot, and her friends could only wait and pray for the best. They were racked with guilt wondering if they could have done more to prevent the attack and struggling to come to terms with the fact that their beloved hobby had turned into a nightmare. Thankfully, Julie survived the attack after surgery and receiving treatment with antibiotics to prevent infections. However, the trauma of that day stayed with her and her friends for a long time. They all knew they would never forget the fear and horror of that day and would always be mindful of the potential dangers that lay beneath the surface of the ocean. For Julie and her friends, the experience was a stark reminder of the dangers of fishing in the open ocean. Despite the trauma they experienced, they refused to let it deter them from their love of fishing. Instead, they resolved to be more careful in the future, to take precautions, and to never let their guard down. For Julie, the experience made her even more determined to explore the beauty of the ocean and all the wonders it has to offer, despite the risks. We would like to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching, take a dive on the like and subscribe buttons and hit the bell icon so you get notified when we come back with another exciting story.